So in this video, I'm going to show you how we work with complex conjugates. So we should know that a complex number has both real and imaginary parts, and it is written in the form Z, our complex number, is equal to A plus BI, where A and B are real and I is imaginary. And for any complex number written in this form, the complex conjugate of the number we call Z star. And this is equal to A minus BI. So if you notice, we've changed this positive B to a negative B. And together, Z and Z star, its complex conjugate, are called a complex conjugate pair. And complex conjugates that can be used to simplify expressions involving complex numbers, especially when dividing one complex number by another. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. So for example one, we've been asked to simplify this fraction into this form. So can you see that what we need to do is cancel out this negative i. And the way we can do this is by finding the complex conjugate of this denominator. And this will be 3 plus i. So in this negative one, we've changed to a positive one. And the numerator must also be 3 plus i, because then in effect we're multiplying this fraction by 1. So we'll times these two together. So now to write it in this form, we'll expand the numerator, so 2i lots of 3 plus i, over 3 minus i multiplied by 3 plus i. We'll expand out our numerator, so we get 6i, and then 2i squared, our denominator, we have 9, plus 3i, minus 3i, and minus i squared. So now can you see, this positive 3i and this negative 3i will cancel. And now we have a i squared term, and our numerator here and denominator here. But we know that i is the square root of negative 1. So i squared then will be the square of root negative 1. And what will happen is that this root and square will cancel. So then we can substitute this negative 1 back into our fraction. So we have 6i plus 2 lots of negative 1 over 9 minus negative 1. We can simplify this, it's become negative 2 plus 6i over 10. And to write this in a plus bi form, we'll divide both parts by 10 and then simplify. So we get negative 1 fifth plus 3 fifths i. So in this case, a is equal to negative 1 fifth and b is equal to positive 3 fifths. Okay. Let's move on to question 2. Okay, so in example 2, we've been told that z1 is negative 8 plus 9i, and z2 is 2 minus i. We've been asked to work out z1 divided by z2, and leave our answer in the simplified a plus bi form. So perhaps you want to try this question yourself. You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the complex conjugate of a two negative i, because then this negative i will cancel with its complex conjugate. So we'll multiply both by a two plus i. So two minus i and two plus i form a complex conjugate pair. We can write these into brackets so we have negative 8 plus 9i multiplied by 2 plus i all over 2 minus i multiplied by 2 plus i. We'll expand out our numerator. So negative 16 minus 8i plus 18i plus 9i squared over 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2i minus 2i 
and then minus i squared. So now we can tidy up our numerator. We've got negative 16. We know this i squared will become negative 1. So this will become minus 9. And then we can collect together the i terms. So negative 8 plus 18i will give us plus 10i. Over this positive 2i will cancel with this negative 2i. And then this will become positive 1 because we have a negative negative 1. And this positive 1 plus 4 will give us 5. So we've got negative 25 plus 10i all over 5. And this simplifies to make negative 5 plus 2i. So a will equal negative 5 and b will equal positive 2. Okay. Let's try one more question. So in example 3, we've been given 3 plus 2i divided by z is equal to 1 minus i. And we've been asked to show that z is equal to 1 plus 5i over 2. So again, if you want to try this question yourself, you can pause the video and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So the first thing we need to do is we need to move this division over to the right hand side. So we'll multiply both sides by z. So now we have 3 plus 2i will equal z multiplied by 1 minus i. And now we can divide both sides by 1 minus i. And these two will cancel. So z will be 3 plus 2i over 1 minus i. And now we can use the complex conjugate of 1 minus i to simplify this fraction. So we'll multiply both by 1 plus i. So now we can expand this out. So z will be equal to 3 plus 3i plus 2i plus 2i squared. And then we can divide all of this by our denominator. We'll have 1 plus i and then minus i minus i squared. We'll tidy this up and you can see this positive will cancel with this negative i. So then our numerator becomes 3 added to negative 2, 2 times negative 1. So this will give us 1. With 3i plus 2i will make 5i. And we'll divide this by 1 minus the negative 1. So 2. And this is what we were asked to show here. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again and take care.